So Randy Weingarten, she is the president of the American Teachers Union. She, uh, you probably know her name during COVID because she was a big proponent of keeping those schools locked down, made it very, very difficult for schools to open back up. Well, she says, if you're criticizing her regarding those school lockdowns, it's because you're anti-Semitic. Watch this. And over the past couple of years, you faced some criticism and your critics are rather loud. Um, and so <laughs> how do you deal with that? How do you deal with that, that very public criticism? So first, you know, if it was on the level, it would be different. But what we know about it is it is an intention to undermine the very institutions that help educate kids, protect democracy and pluralism in this country, and help people have a better shot at the American dream. And so all of us do s stupid things. And, you know, I've done stupid things and I've made misjudgments. But how do you actually take someone who from April 2020 tried to reopen schools because we knew it was important, but said they have to be reopened safely so we protect everyone, just like we try to protect everyone from, you know, gun violence, from from mm -hmm. respiratory issues? How do you lie about me like that? And so what I learned was Bill Smear, because they're trying to divide and create mistrust and distrust. And we just have to be happy warriors about doing the right things for kids. Does it bother me sometimes? Of course it bothers me. But at the end of the day, I have amazing members. And what's happened is we can't, if I let them bully me, what about every educator? What about every worker? What about every vulnerable student. And the other thing I've come to learn is if you're a member of a minority group, look, there's lots of anti-Semitism. I happen to be a very, you know, I happen to be married to a rabbi and I happen to really believe in my faith. And there's a lot of homophobia. And I happen to be the first out lesbian as a labor leader in the country ever. And so this kind of attack of identity that's all rolled into a two <sighs> of course <laughs> oh well if you're attacking me and criticizing my policies or calling me a hypocrite or a liar it's because you're anti-semitic and you're homophobic not because you actually have a point she's saying there that from april of 2020 she advocated for schools to open no. In July of 2020, she actually called the, Trump's, the Trump administration's push to reopen schools reckless, callous, and cruel in July of 2020. So she's saying in April of 2020, she was pushing to open schools, but she was then criticizing Donald Trump, saying, you reckless, callous, cruel. And she actually endorsed safety strikes, teachers to go on safety strikes, saying that it wasn't safe for them to reopen schools. She endorsed those strikes. In February of 2021, Lori Lightfoot, the mayor at the time of Chicago, said that they were begging the teachers' union to come to the table so that they could figure out a way to reopen schools, and the teachers' union was nowhere to be found. They said, we don't even want to talk to you about this. Opening schools is not the right thing to be doing. That was in February of 2021, yet in a she's claiming in April of 2020, I was doing everything I could to reopen schools, and if you say otherwise, you're an anti-Semite. This is why nobody takes that, you know. There is such a thing as anti-Semitism, but when it's used constantly as just a shield for any sort of criticism nobody could take it seriously and it actually diminishes the actual meaning of it of 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 something that is actually real at, at times but it's used just indiscriminate if you're if you're jewish and you're being criticized then the person who's criticizing you is anti-semitic um even though what they're saying has nothing to do with any of that um in january of 2020 the chicago union voted against in-person learning and the union said it wouldn't relent until the surge in COVID-19 cases subsided or the school district signed an agreement establishing conditions for return. And that was also endorsed by Randy Weingarten, the head of the teachers union. So she was absolutely not about opening schools. She was about keeping them locked down. That was evidenced even in emails 
that were circulating to um, to the CDC, and uh, they were there was email evidence of them saying the teachers' unions are the ones that are really pushing us, and we've got to do what the teachers' union wants. And so she's lying. She's lying right here, and she's saying, why are you targeting me? Why are you criticizing me? Why are you coming at me? Well, it must be because I'm uh, because I'm married to a rabbi, I'm Jewish, and I'm a lesbian. My rabbi wife is a woman, and I'm a woman, and therefore, you know, you're just anti-Semitic and you're homophobic. You can't make this stuff up. Um, okay, you know, she's now wanting to run for cover because we now know that the lockdowns, especially for children— not going to school was absolutely disastrous. And the children have not been able to make up for that lost time. They are way behind. It is it has destroyed not only their education, but their mental health, their physical health. Lockdowns were an absolute disaster for everybody. It ended up not working. The countries that did not implement lockdowns and the areas that did not imp implement lockdowns did way better than the areas that did. And that is now documented. And history will not be on the side of Randy Weingarten who was all about the lockdowns or all of the people who were all about the lockdowns. They did not work. And many of us were very aware that they would not work from the very beginning, that they instead would be a policy that would end up in a much worse outcome. Children are now suffering and children were not the ones who needed to fear COVID like the elderly, anyone over 65 um, had a real serious um, you know, concern with COVID. And I think rightfully so, but children and now the children are going to be paying long-term health and mental and educational consequences. All because Randy Weingarten was all, but uh, don't you dare say it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Bigot.